we are going to look at the achievements the achievements of Imperial British East African Company the achievements of Imperial British East African Company so the first one uh, is that they were able to suppress they were able to suppress the revolts by traditional by traditional communities they were able to suppress the revolts by traditional communities so as they took control or took authority in those territories some most african communities did not accept so they had to uh, to to stand up against them but they managed to uh, quench or uh, bring an end to those rebellions number two uh, they laid a foundation the company laid a foundation they laid a foundation for the coming of the colonial administration so they laid structures that later could come and be used by the British government during the direct control. And then number three, they uh, freed many slaves. Freed slaves. They freed slaves. So as we mentioned, they had to advocate for the end of slave trade. That was an aim or that was a, 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 a need that they had to uh, uh, be able to accomplish. So they freed a lot of slaves who are uh, enslaved, especially at the coast. And these brought uh, most of the people back to their uh, homes. Apart from that, they started construction. Construction of roads construction of roads along the trade routes the trade routes where the trading activities were happening these they expanded by creating roads or constructing roads they financed uh, the construction of roads so these enabled or made way uh, for the government later on the government the colonial administrators to come and uh, use the same roads or advance the same roads as uh, 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 during the time of occupation and then uh, uh, lastly they started uh, they started early industries they started early industries as Remember, they, they, had, they, they, they had to uh, undertake trading activities. So, in the year trade, they had to start industries. For example, the weaving, the textile industry, was uh, initiated by these companies. So, to make sure that the cotton that was being grown was now being put into place. So, the earliest industries were set up by uh, the imperial British East African Company. So those are some of the achievements that were, be, were, were able to be acquired by, by, the, by the company that was acting on behalf of the British government. So even with those uh, 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 achievements, the Imperial British East African Company made a lot of significant influence because they effectively occupied this land, this territory of Kenya, it was effectively occupied and led by the Imperial British East African Company. So they made several uh, forts or centers of administration. That is uh, another, you could also mention another influence or another impact made by the British East African Company. So they made forts. They made forts which were also referred to as bombers at different areas where they could uh, store uh, uh, trade commodities where they could uh, live so these uh, forts included they had made one at uh, Kismayu they also, they also made another one at Malindi 
another one was made at Vanga, another one was made at Witu, another one was made at Machakos, another one was made at uh, Fort Smith, and lastly, uh, 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 there was a fort in Mumias. So these are administrative centers that were created by the Imperial British East African Company. So these uh, ensured that they could easily control or they could easily manage the territory.